Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, gonna do another booster pack opening. This time got several packs from a couple of sets that released in 2014. This is kind of a end of year special, I suppose. Got some from Born of the Gods, Draining to Nex, and Contatark here. We'll go ahead and work our way from oldest to newest. Now, I didn't get any 2015 because I forgot to pick them up for some reason, so. Oh well. Now, I usually slow row these, and I'm gonna do the same here, but since we have so many, I'm gonna try not to do do it too much. So, Rise to the Challenge, Griffin, Dreamfinder, Nyxborn, Eidolon, Charging Badger, Faragax, Giant, uh, Sphinx's Disciple, Sudden Storm, Aspect of the Hydra, Claim of Erebos, Deepwater Hypnotist, Thunderous Might, Reap What is Sown, Glimpse the Sun God, and we have a Temple of Malice. Nice scry land there. Cool. Okay. Next pack of Born of the Gods. We have Nyxborn Eidolon, Charging Badger, Paragax Giant, Six of Disciple, Forest Radiance, Loyal Pegasus, Elite Skirmisher, Mortals Resolve, Asphyxiate, A Crowan Skyguard, Crowan Phalanx, Vanguard of Brahmas. Lightning Volley, and a Mind Reaver. I don't think Mind Reaver did anything in this uh, this year. Second to last pack of Born of the Gods. The majority of the packs are turning into Nyx. It's four Born, six turning to Nyx, and three Konzatark here. War Channer of Mogus, Revoke Existence, Scouring Sands, Charging Badger, Blood Tide Serpent. Try to make sure my camera's focusing properly. Uh, Reckless Reveler. Grizzly Transformation. Snake of the Golden Grove. Elite Skirmisher. Sky Reaping. Shrike Harpy. Archetype of Finality. And a Brimaz. Awesome card. I think it's my fifth, so I guess this one's going to be up for trade. Cool. Uh, foil eye gouge, mountain tip card. Last pack of Born of the Gods. We have a Great Heart, Satyr Wayfinder, Retraction Helix, Nyxborn Eidolon, Bolt of Karanos, Mortar's Ardor, uh, Aruska Sun Guide, Stratus Walk, Nullify, Impetuous Sun Chaser. Black Oak of Odunos, Ferris Band Raiders, God Favored General, and a Faded Infatuation. A Swamp, and a Tip Card. On to Journey into Nyx. Be cool to get some. Getting a Johnny out of this. Some gods. Farrakis Chosen, Countermand, Lightning Diadem, Eagle of the Watch. Market Festival, Grim Guardian, Trident Shore Stalker, Ravenous Lucracota, Font of Ire, Aspect of the Gorgon, Chariot of Victory, Crystalline Nautilus, Banishing Light, great card, actually happy to have that. I'm gonna throw that in with the rares. And Twin Flame. Swamp and tip card. Next journey to next pack. We have Countermand, Pensive Minotaur, Armament of Nyx, Font of Fertility, Rotted Hulk, God Hunter Octopus, Blade Tusk Boar, Cruel Feeding, Mortal Obstinacy, Sigiled Starfish, Fleet Feather Cockatrice, Cyclops of Eternal Fury, Swarmborn Giant, and a King Makar the Gold Cursed. And we have a forest and a cool looking snake. That goes good with uh, Ferrica. Sorry for the background noise. Another pack of Journey into Nyx. Nyx Infusion, Harvest Guard Aliads, Return to Reveler, Crewfix's Insight, Ajani's Presence, Nature's Panoply, Rise of Eagles, Ferris Fan Thunderhoof, Blade Tusk Boar, Dreadbringer Lampids, Reprisal, Tormented Thoughts, Eidolon of Rhetoric, and a Temple of Malady. Cool. 
Love the Scrylands. There's a mountain and a tip card. Halfway through journeying to Nyx. We have Satyr Hoplite, a Crow and Mastiff, Humbler of Mortals, Font of Return, Aerial Formation, Magma Spray, Cast into Darkness, Oresco Swift Claw, Trident Shore Stalker, Ravenous Lucrakota, Chariot of Victory, Crystalline Nautilus, Blinding Flare, and a Dictate of Crufix. And a Plains and a Tech Card. Next to last pack, a Journey into Next. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, we have a God Hunter Octopus, Sigiled Skink, Font of Vigor, Crufix's Insight, Farrakis Chosen, Countermand, Supply Line Cranes, Rise of Eagles, Satyr Grove Dancer, Font of Ire, uh, Nessian Game Warden, Nyx Fleece Ran, excellent card, that goes with the rares for sure, that's valuable. Strength from the Fallen, and Spawn of Thraxes, which I think that can probably go with everything else, and a land and a tip card. Spawn of Thraxes didn't do jack. Well, actually, no. I'll put it with the rares, but honestly, it's not really worth. With all the Fate Reforged stuff coming out, last journey to next pack, with all the dragon stuff, I thought, hey, maybe, maybe Spawn of, Spawn of Thraxes will do something, but at seven mana, it's just not a constructed card. Sigiled Skink, Ajani's Presence, Golden Hind, Feast of Dreams, Cloak Siren, Lightning Diadem, Ravenous Lucrakota, Font of Ire, Aspect of the Gorgon, Mortal Obstinacy, Chariot of Victory, Crystalline Nautilus, Swarmborn Giant, and a Ferris Band Warchief. Then a Mountain and a Minotaur Token. Last three packs, starting Count of here, Sidisi on the front. We have Aerostorm, Mardu Horde Chief, Whirlwind Adept, Shatter, Molting Snakeskin, Woolly Loxodon, Krumar Bondkin, Feed the Clan, Jungle Hollow, Rakshasa's Secret, Winter Flame, Uncommon, Obs and Falconer, Uncommon, and Timur Charger, third Uncommon. Our rare, sorry, our rare is Windswept Heath. Very nice. I think that's my sixth or seventh, I think. Take that. Uh, Island and a bird token for the Wingmate Rock that I have yet to open, unfortunately. Second cons of Tarkir pack. See, we have a Mardu Horde Chief, Whirlwind Adept, Archer's Parapet, Ride of the Serpent, Bloodfell Caves, Alabaster Kirin, Abomination of Goodle, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Summit Prowler, Rugged Highlands. First uncommon is a Jeskai Charm. Next uncommon is a Jeskai Elder. Third uncommon is a Nomad Outpost, and our rare is. High Sentinels of Arashin. Excellent card. One of my favorites in, uh, in draft. Mountain and a Warrior token. Alright, last pack opening of 2014. I still have more videos and I'll still be uploading those, but this is the last actual pack that I'm opening. All the other videos. Those were recorded a long time ago. We have a Canyon Lurkers. Smite the Monstrous. Alpine Grizzly, Rotting Mastodon, Force Away, Bring Low, Rugged Highlands, Just Guy Student, Abomination of Goodle, Singing Bell Strike. Our first uncommon is a Hordling Outburst. Next uncommon is a War Name Aspirant. One of my fa again, one of my favorite cards in not only constructed but in draft too. It's a very good card, just in general. Third uncommon is a Tuscar Captain, and our final rare of 2014 is Siege Rhino. Excellent card, saw a lot of play professionally and whatever, non-professionally, if you watch the 
Star City Games tournaments, the uh, standard Wizards tournaments and all that. Popular card. Worth a decent amount. I think it's three or four bucks, something like that. But uh, it's a good one. Cool. That's a very good card to go out on. We have a Swamp and a Snake Creature Token. All right. So for 2014, I'd say the valuable cards, we have a Seed Rhino, Windswept Heath, a Nyx Fleece Ran, Temple of Malady. Vanishing Light is actually a good card that, that even though it's uncommon, it's I think it's a couple bucks. It's it's pretty expensive. Got a Brimas, a Mind Reaver, obviously, and a Temple of Malice. Quite a few other rares, but I would say that these are probably the the most valuable by far. So there you go. Again, Seed Rhino, Nyx Fleece Ran, Temple of Malady, Banishing Light, Temple of Malice, uh, Brimaz, and a Windswept Heath. So if you've been with me this far, I want to say thanks. Uh, it's been fun recording these videos and just creating content for the channel. I don't have a lot of followers yet, but I plan on uh, just on keep going. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. So uh, thanks for watching. I look forward to 2015, uh, and I'll see you again next time.